Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on glasses. I'm going to show you guys how you can style your clothes, your hair, how you can do your makeup, just different tips and tricks that I have learned. So the glasses I am going to be wearing today throughout this entire video are from glassesusa.com. You can get free shipping and free returns with any of the glasses that you pick out, 100% money back guarantee. And also they'll be giving you guys a special free offer. If you'd like to check that out, then you can just go down below in the description box and click on that link. They start at around $30 a pair and you can add your own prescription to them if you need it. I personally don't need it. I have perfect vision. I feel very lucky that I do. I remember when I was younger though, I used to try and pretend like I didn't so that I could fail the eye test and be able to wear glasses because I thought they were so cool. Um, but the doctor knew I was completely lying and was like, um, your vision's perfect. Like, <laughs> you don't need glasses. And I'm like, no. I don't know at that time if you could wear glasses without prescription in them. Like if you had glasses, it was because you did not have good vision. Now I'm able to, you know, play around with a lot of different styles, which I really like, and I'll be showing you guys today. Are you being cute? Yes, you're being cute. <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> Starting off the look in my bedroom today, guys. This is the first look. Lighting right now is just so good. It's snowed outside, so there's a lot of bright, natural daylight coming in. I haven't self tan and I usually do like once or twice a week, but I haven't done it even once this week. So we're going to embrace our natural selves for this first look. It's a very natural, minimal makeup. The glasses I'm gonna be wearing today are in the style Barbara with the digital block lenses, meaning that they protect your eyes from harmful blue light that emits from computer screens. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the eyebrows now. I'm using the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, slowly working the brow hairs up. And then as I work them up, I use my finger to actually lay them flat onto my skin. And that also helps them to look a little bit longer than they actually are. Then I use the CoverGirl eyebrow gel, I don't know exactly what this is called, in 710. Dip it into the product, put it on the back of my hand, and then I use my fingers, slide them up the brush so that I get a really, really small brush tip. Draw some lines following exactly where my eyebrow hairs are going in literally the same exact direction. Turning into an eyebrow tutorial. I didn't mean for it to be one, but I feel like the eyebrows are so important with this look. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I have very sensitive eyes, so now it looks like I'm crying. Hit it just a few times with some pumps. You know, just like a little pump set. Lancome Sills Booster. So really take your time and go slowly from the root all the way up the lash. That will really help prevent any clumping and make your lashes look super long. Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. Start really close to the lash and slowly work my way up. And the end result is very clean, spidery looking lashes that are not clumpy at all. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Wonder Glow Instant Focus Beauty Flash from Charlotte Tilbury as well. And I really try and warm it up. I just massage it onto my skin. So already you can see like how much of a glow that has given my skin just by using those two products. But I do like to take it one step further and use this dewy spritz. And I really like this because it gives my skin hydration. It kind of sets the moisturizer and the Wonder Glow that we used into the skin all day. And then it also has little sparkles in it that makes your skin glow even more. Curling it under maybe like two or three times making sure to leave out just the tiniest little bit of hair and then let it go and kind of brush it out with my fingers so it's not too tight. And I'm just gonna randomly pick hairs to curl. Again, making sure to always leave out a little bit of hair, but this time I'm only gonna hold it on there for like three or four seconds because I don't want it to be too curly. I kind of just want it to look lived in, or I guess more like 
you kind of slept on it one night and you just woke up with it looking like this kind of thing. And then I changed into this really cute over the shoulder long sleeve sweater and this is from Zaffle. And now you could go out like this, you could go to school, you could go to run errands, you could just be hanging out at your house and you look put together even though you have literally no face makeup on. For look number two, we're gonna go for more coverage on the face. And we're also going to play up the eyes a bit with some eyeshadows and eyeliner. So I'm going to throw this baby on. This is from Forever 21. I'm going to do a mixture of these two products here from Catrice Cosmetics. It's the HD Liquid Cover Coverage Foundation in Camel Beige and Rose Beige. Warm them up with this brush from Makeup Forever. It's the 108 Straight. And I'm just going to start slowly... Applying this all over the face. I did about a half pump from each. So I'd say this is better for normal to oily skin types. So I just put a light layer of that on. Now I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques blending, blending sponge. I can't talk today. Just kind of pat it all in. For any of the little problem areas that I have that I wanna cover, instead of using more foundation, I'm just gonna use some of this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And blend it out. And this is a nice technique if you're going for a much more natural look and it prevents you from using too much concealer, which is something that I definitely like to do. Next, I'm going to apply this Ilia Cheek to Cheek it's like a stain blush right kind of like below the apples of the cheeks and then just pat it in with my finger and I like this it gives like a nice flush of color looks really natural it just sinks right into the skin but yeah it just gives like a nice flush of color a little bit of this oil it's from Murad. It's called Multivitamin Infusion Oil. And a mixture of this liquid highlights and Superstar from Koki Cosmetics. Mix that up on the back of my hand and then apply it to my face like that. And it gives a really nice natural looking glow. Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow. I really like this for contouring. I'm just going to use this angle brush from Laura Mercier. Work it right there. A little on the nose. And then what I like to do is also put this into the crease of the eye. So I'll just kind of like squeeze the brush like this. I'm gonna use the highlight from the palette. I just had to take my dog out really quick. <laughs> So my nose might be like a little bit red. It's freezing out there. Um, I have this sleek makeup eyeshadow palette in Sun is Shining 430. This darker taupe. I'm gonna work this on the outer corners of my eyes. And then we're gonna use this shade here. It's sort of like a rose gold and put that on the lid. I'm gonna use this Rimmel Wonder Wing. Do like a really, really tiny winged liner. Starting from the middle of the eye. Smashbox, always on lipstick and fair game. For the hair, I'm just going to let out two pretty big bangs sections in the front. Tease this little crown section of hair here. And 
and brush it back. And we're going to slowly work it into a low bun. Just going to kind of pull out some hair. Just going to wrap it around three times and give it a nice little pull just so it's tight and it's not going to come out. These are the Atado Vecchios, Vecchios, I don't know how to say that. I'm going to wear it with these because I feel like they have a more polished look. And I just love how the bangs like just kind of sit right on the outer edges of the glasses and it actually makes it look like your bangs are even more fluffy than they really are. I feel like it really helps to frame the face. These frames are a bit smaller than the previous and they're more square, which also really helps to you know, give that illusion of a more angular face. For me, I already have a pretty angular face, so when I wear glasses like this, what I like to do is have my bangs out so that way it kind of softens things up a bit. So that way my jawline doesn't look so chiseled. Um, and yeah, I just, I really like the way that this look turned out i think it's cute totally wearable for look number three i'm going to put on this berry toned blush from buxom we're gonna call this our pop of color look and if you ever feel like your blush is too intense just go over it with your blending sponge we're also going to use the lorac pro liquid lipstick in deep burgundy And for the hair, we're going to go ahead and throw it up into a really messy bun. So you just want to get it all into the top of your head like this. And we're going to wrap around once. And then kind of pull it out, but not all the way. See how I still have the ends there? And then with this hand, I'm just gonna loop around and kind of pick up all these ends. And then grab the bun and pull it over. You can kind of pull it out a bit so it's not so tight. And check these beautiful babies out. This is the collaboration with Muse and Hilary Duff. They're the pink rose gold glasses in the style Joan. So these are a little more expensive because they are limited edition to the website. And you know, it's Hilary Duff. <laughs> and just to make it more like fun and quirky, I also paired it with a striped button-up shirt from Forever 21. And that is it for look number three. It's kind of like messy, chill vibe. So I lost the footage and had to refilm this the next day and totally forgot to talk you guys through the tutorial. So I'm just doing a quick voiceover. I applied concealer to the high points of my face, like under my eyes, center of the forehead, chin. That was the Maybelline Age Rewind. And then as my foundation today, I went through with the Bare Minerals powder foundation. This one's specifically for acne prone skin. And I blended that all over. And I used the other side of my little It Cosmetics brush to put more on the areas that I felt like I needed it. My Beauty For Real stick, one end is a blush and the other is a highlighter. I applied the blush to the apples of my cheeks and the bridge of my nose. 
lips and also the outer corners of my eyes as well and just blended it all in with my fingertips. Surprisingly, cream products actually blend very well over top of the Bare Minerals foundation if you were ever wondering and you wanted to try it. I applied the highlight to the high points of my face, a little bit of contour from the Charlotte Tilbury bronze palette, film star palette, Flower Beauty brown mascara, about two layers of that. And with the highlight from that palette, I applied that to the center of my eyes. So for the hair, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just throw it all up into a really high ponytail and grab a big chunk of bang and just pull it out to one side. Then wrap your ponytail holder around about two or three times so it's nice and secure on the top of your head. And that was it for the look. I just put on these really cute glasses from Atado. They're in the style Barisi. For this next look, I just kind of flipped my hair over and I mainly want this to be like a pink, a soft pink lip. Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pillow Talk Lip Liner. Too Faced Strip Search Lipstick. I love this stuff. This is seriously like one of the best cream lipsticks I've ever, ever used. And I wanna make it super glossy and sparkly with the Raisin the Roof gloss from Too Faced also. This is from Express. It's like asymmetrical type trench coat with some zipper detail, a nice big collar. I'm just gonna kinda let my hair stay in the jacket. So it kinda makes it look like I have a bob. And the sunglasses I'm gonna be wearing with this look are all black. They're called the Atado Enterprise. I love aviators. They're definitely my favorite style to wear. Like when I'm wearing sunglasses, I just feel the most comfortable in these. Yeah. It's quick. <laughs> that was a quick look. Okay guys, for the last look, before the sun goes down, um, I'm just gonna pull some bangs to the front. I'm gonna give the sides near the hairline, just kind of like a little twist. I'm gonna grab it all back behind me. I'm gonna put it in a very low bun. I have this jacket that's from Thule. I got it a long time ago. This is even older than the black jacket. <laughs> Anytime that I have my hair up in a bun, I really like to have some sort of collar around my neck. I just feel like it adds a lot more to the look and it's not so plain. The glasses I'm wearing with this look are the exact same as the other look, except they're in gold instead of black, which I feel like matches this outfit a lot better. Again, the same aviator type style that I love. Yeah. This is a simple, simple look, guys. Well, I guess all of them are kind of simple. <laughs> and yeah, that's it for the very last look. Definitely let me know down in the comments which look was your favorite and if you recreated any of them. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.